Hey Justin, how you doing, buddy? Right. Hey, now. Audio check, one, two. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. You're just getting started here in the first quarter between the Fort Collins Lampkins and the Loveland Red Wolves. We're having some audio difficulties right now, but we'll get going here in a minute. Two points, Loveland. I'm going to turn the microphone over to the one and the only, James Tarver. Thank you for having me tonight. Uh, I did eat an entire pizza before I came, so I'm ready to go. Uh, excited to watch this guy right here fill it up. He's already got one three. See what we can do here on offense. There's another one. We'll take that. We, he called it. He called it. Oh, too bad the camera was off. That's okay. Camera in bad position. He banked in a three. Ah, we didn't want to see that anyway. No, we did not. Early 6-5 lead for Collins. Two Jace King threes so far. Oh, big fella. That'll go down as a charge on Loveland's tight end. Kid's a good football player. King brings it down. Over to Jackson. Here we go to Marcus. Oh, there's a foul. We were trying to get the dual microphones going, but it didn't seem to work. Still trying to figure it out. Oh. Good inbounds pass play from DeMarco Sanchez Ferguson to Marcus Burkett. Marcus to the line for two. First one is good. Mark is, of course, the second best athlete in the family to his older sister, Taryn. Second free throw is good. Early 8-5 lead. Madam McCollum with some good D. 
Three-pointer way off. Marcus Burkett, the rebound. Here comes Collins. Gets it to Folkstead, kicks it back to King. Deep three, and that's going to go. Nine already early for the number two scorer in the state of Colorado. And a top 20 scorer nationally. Pass inside, block. Ooh. Foul on Jackson Folkstead. Looks clean from up here. <laughs> I don't know. Hope they didn't hear that. First free throw good. This is number 45, Junior Mason Morris at the line for the Red Wolves. Second free throw is good. 11-7 here halfway through the first quarter. Folkstead with the ball. Going to find Sanchez Ferguson. He drives. Beautiful pass inside. Jackson regains. Kicks it back out. Matt Marco to the hole. Finds Burkett in the corner. Short. Rebound McCollum inside. Ooh. Oh, he got fouled. There we go. Matt McCollum doing some good work inside. He's going to go to the line. We're still trying to work out the dual microphone. Oh, we're good. We're good? We'll just share this one. Okay. All right, back to John. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're going to share a microphone until we get things working here. So... To the line is Madden. He wears number 21. Swish. Four Collins is going to put on some pressure. What do you think about the pressure, James? I love it. I think we got great athletes. We're in good shape because Coach Dick likes to run these guys. So I love it. Put the pressure on. Let's see if we can get a steal. Takes it strong, misses offensive rebound there. Thought about a three, thought better of it. Tries to get downside, stolen. Marcel gets it up to DeMarco, over to Madden for two. Great teamwork. A great defense by Marcel Herrera. Great pass by DeMarco Sanchez Ferguson. There it is. There's the pressure. There's the pressure. It's getting to him. These guys are. Squeamish. i got to tell you, I'm not very good at operating this clock right now. The clock's a challenge. I get too excited and forget what I'm doing. The clock has always been a challenge, so we'll do our best with the clock. But the score will be right. As you see, the Lambkins are in a commanding lead already. Here comes King. He's passed over to DeMarco inside the Madden. To, oh, the reverse layup doesn't go. I think he should have dunked that. What do you think? <laughs> that was a great look. We'll finish that next time. You won't miss very many of those. The bank for three is not good. Rebound goes to DeMarco. He's going the other way in a hurry. It's a four on four. Gets it down to Madden. He's blocked. He got hammered. I don't know, James, if you do that on the street, don't you get arrested? Should definitely probably give him his arm or some type of his upper body back after that one. As we know, Loveland is a football school. So expect when you play these kids, expect a tough, hard-fought game. Madden McComb to the line. McComb's first free throw is on the way in and, in and out. Sizing up the second attempt. Short as well. Rebound goes to Loveland. Trey Olson. Corner three. Good. It's like double dribble. You ever played double dribble back in the day? I did. That's where you got to hit the threes from. It's the cheat code. Madden's aggressive. He's going to the hoop and fouled. Hmm. 
So McCollum's going to the line for two more shots. What do you think of this guy's play so far, James? I love it. He's one of the, the littler guys on the floor, and he plays hard. Up Again, getting up, getting down, running, putting pressure on these guys on both sides, getting the line. Now we just got to knock them down. Second attempt on the way, no good. Rebound's going to go to Loveland, and they're going the other way. Olsen bringing it up. So pressure. Hands it off. Easton. He makes a move. Drives down the lane. Travels. There we go. That was a pretty obvious call. Okay, checking into the lineup for the Lampkins. It's going to be Jackson Folkstad. Checking in for Marcus Burkett. You think he got scared under there? I uh, probably saw Jace King and thought I probably shouldn't put this one up because it's going to end up swatted off the wall. Yeah, I was going to end up. It was going to end ugly anyway. The give and the go is not there. Marco almost steals it back. Here come the Red Wolves. They're going to try to run their offense. Lampkins are in a one or man to man. That is their traditional man to man. Coach Dick stalking the sidelines over there. The shots on the way and it goes somehow. Pure luck. You see, didn't he just throw it up there? Looked like it, but he's a football player, so he's got the strength to get it in there. This kid's going to go up and play his foot college football at University of Wyoming. Excellent two-way guy for Loveland. We'll see what he plays up there. Free throw short. Here come the Lampkins. Folks that has the ball, he's going to drive, dump it down to Madden. He takes the shot. No good. Rebound goes to Loveland. D'Souza was under there for the rebound. A quick three-point shot is going to be short. Rebounded Herrera. Picking up some pressure. Gets it to DeMarco. They have an advantage. Kicks it back up. No, over to Jackson. Corner. Corner three. Good. Matt and McCollum for three. Loveland sets up their offense. They're trying to get it to the big man D'Souza down there. He's six. He's listed at six foot six. Oh, that's a foul. That was a charge. Good move. Folks said he's going to run out of bounds. He lost the handle and went out of bounds. So with a minute nine left in the first quarter, it's going to be Loveland's ball. Lampkins up 18 to 12 right now. Couple subs in for Loveland. Evan McCann, he's checking in. Lampkins are going to do some half court, man to man. Jackson Gebhardt had the ball, gave it to Easton. He's working it around. McCann's going to try to drive on folks. That almost gets stolen by DeMarco. Tipped in, it is stolen. Looking for the long pass. Not there. Now it's there. DeMarco's going to have a layup. He gets hammered. That kid took it all out on him. What's going on with that, James? Well, again, physical play. You know, he made a play on the ball. That's all right. DeMarco step up and knock these down. Yeah, he's a big dude down there. Six foot six. DeMarco's free throw rattles around and does not go. we got to start knocking down our free throws. Had a lot of chances. Should be up by about 10 to 12 right now. I'm sure that will be addressed at quarter here. We're not, Coach Dick's not going to let that slide. And the second free throw is good. Here come the Red Wolves. I want to say Indians all the time because they change their name. But it's the Red Wolves. Easton has the ball. Trying to work it around. Finds Olsen. He hands it off. It's dribble drive. Corner three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Marcus. He gets it out. Or Marcel gets it to Marcus. He takes it. Euro step. Gets his own rebound and gets fouled. Jump ball. Oh, it looked like a foul from here. I think we got hosed on that call. <laughs> I think everything looks like a foul from up here. We're pretty high up. 
pretty high up here in the crow's nest, as they call it. Do they call it that? I call it the perch. Oh, the perch, okay. But if that's just me, I don't know. I also call this Jim the Lamb Jack. Nobody's caught onto that yet. Oh, we love it. <laughs> All right, five seconds. They're going to try to get corner three off with the buzzer. No good. Rebound. And after one quarter of play, it's going to be Fort Collins 19, Loveland 12. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in. I can see how doing this without by yourself would be a pain. Yeah, it's tough. Because <laughs> you, you start watching it and you start looking and you like, All right. Not to say bad anything, anything bad about the refs, James, but it looks like they're the average age of about 75. I thought I saw Keith Aragon down there earlier, but maybe not. Yeah, that it's would, unconfirmed. That would not be good if he came on the court trying to ref anything. All you have to do is bribe him with something that says Nike on it, and you get anything you want. Student section getting involved. There we go. Start of the second quarter. DeMarco Sanchez Ferguson passes it off. Marcel's going to take the three and hits. Three points. Marcel. Herrera. Lampkins are going to sort out. They're going to pick up half court man. Trey Young's in the game. He's Henry Peterson. Henry Peterson as well. We have a Henry Peterson sighting. All right. The drive. The shot. The foul. I don't know if you know the new rules for high school, James, but every quarter it's five fouls and it's a two-point or two free throws. I'd heard that. Um, didn't really notice. I mean, Loveland had about 19 fouls in the first quarter, but uh, I guess new change. We'll see see how it goes. But you know, number one thing I think Lamb kids need to address is making those free throws. Yeah, it definitely changes the strategy of the game, especially as we get down towards the third and the fourth quarter. Trey Young checks out of the game. Jace King back in. They gave him a little bit of a breather. He iced down his arm. He's ready to roll. I can't tell the number of that guy on the line for Loveland, but he made a ball. Nick Rakowski. He's a Loveland football player as well. King in the corner. Corner three. Oh, in and out, but the rebound goes to the Lampkins. Sky and high as Marcus Burkett. He gets it stolen, and it's going the other way for Loveland. And picks him. Picks him clean. Great defense from Marcus Burkett there. Henry Peterson either got a, almost got another one. Oh, nice, nice move. He took three steps. Herrera kicks it over to Burkett. Corner three. No good in and out. Rebound goes to Loveland. Trey Olson's going to bring it up. Lampkin's up by eight at this point. Gets it to the corner. Looking underneath. Nobody's flashing. Here he comes. And they're going to reset. Double team. Moves it around. Three-point shot on the way is no good. It's going to be rebounded to Loveland. They toss Hustle play, but then Marcel steals it and goes the other way. He's going to take he's a wide open layup. Two points and a foul. There's some toughness from Marcel. Beautiful steal, right to the hoop. Shows the strength, lays it in. Now knock this down. Yeah, he went after that like he owned it. And, of course, Loveland fouled him, so. But, you know, if we're going to keep missing free throws, we're going to get fouled. So Mason Morse was the 
guilty party on that. It's the second foul. Miss a free throw. Peterson with the rebound, though. Gets it out to King. Works it around. Marcel's going to take the three. Just a bit short. Rebound. Marcus Burkett with the great move. Smooth. Marcus Burkett. Smooth. With the rebound in the hop. James, you ever seen the movie Don't Mess with the Zohan? I have. Uh, that was a Zohan move down there by Burkett. Silky smooth. I apologize to all the viewers. I'm just letting this clock run. I'm not very good at this. I can't do two things at once. It's challenging, that's for sure. All right. 545. 545. 5.45 left until halftime. The Red Wolves bring it up. Kick it to the... It's a quick three-point shot. Rebound goes to DeMarco. And away we go. Tipped. DeMarco... Retains possession, gets it to the corner to Peterson. He's going to drive baseline. They call it travel about five seconds too late. But, you know, these, these older guys, I can tell I'm getting older myself. It takes a little bit more time to process that. <laughs> you got to see it all the way through. I do I do have a Lance Elmore sighting, though, next time we go Collins' way. Peterson fouls him on the three-point shot, so that'll be three fouls or three free throws. Coach Dick's going to come out of his skin here. Didn't care for that foul. First free throw attempt is no good, so it was a good foul. I'm just kidding. You don't ever foul anybody on a three-point shot, but. Second free throw is good. And lucky number three is on the way and not good. Lucky for the Lampkins. DeMarco got double teamed. He kicks it out to Marcel. He's going to bring it up. To the corner. Marcel has looked at the shot. He gave it up. Wide open. Down low. DeMarco goes up strong and is fouled. Two-sport athlete, DeMarco Sanchez-Ferguson. Any word on his college plans yet, James? I know after the basketball season, he's going to go out to Oregon and check out um, Pacific University, uh, who's interested in him going out there to play football. Uh, great student, too. I had him in class two years in a row. Um, one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet. Just got to make his free throws. Bright future for that kid in the sport of football. He's got great hands. You can tell on the basketball court. He's got some slick moves. He's athletic. Free throw miss. Rebound Marcel. Marcus Burkett for three. Good. Inbound the ball. Here come the Red Wolves. Working it around. He's got a drive. He's got a lane shot blocked. It went in. May have been blocked, may not have, maybe just hit the bottom of the backboard, went out of bounds, it's going to be Lampkin ball. It was like a freight train in there and lost control. Here come the Lampkins. we got to get Jason involved. He hasn't taken a shot in a while. They're guarding him pretty good. He'll take a 22-footer. Oh, and it goes! Chase King for three. That's why he's worth the price of admission. He's up to 12, 4 threes so far. See if we can get him even hotter. Got the, got the kind roll at home there. Oh, beautiful. Nice. DeMarco to Marcel for two. Better get a timeout. There it is. You see the hands by DeMarco. The vision to hit the cutting guy. And the two points for the Lampkins. They're Storm out to a 17-point lead. Lampkins are playing good. Let's see if we can get a camera angle in there. Coach is imploring them to make their free throws, of course. We'd have about seven, 70 points right now if we had made our free throws, I think. Loveland has some big dudes on their team. 23 
D'Souza is 6'6. 21, Joey Sustinus is 6'6. Morris is 6'4. I haven't seen 21 in the game much, but 23 is their main post up guy. What do, you, what do you think he plays for them on football? Well, I actually looked it up, and he is he is one of their one of their starting tight ends. Uh, he was the number two leading receiver on their football team behind Trey Olson. Um, only a junior, and I mean this kid walking in, he is a big boy. I mean he's he's what you want your tight end to look like, and he, he looks really athletic. Skilled basketball player, knocked down a three earlier. Um, you know, Loveland's got good athletes. They're good at all sports. Again, especially football. Uh, many many state championships over there, but. The press of Fort Collins is getting after him tonight. Loveland trying to inbound it. They get it in. Olson's going to bring it up. A little bit of pressure here. Marcus is going to try to make it hard. That's about, oh, almost got a 10 call, but nothing. It's strip. He jumped it. DeMarco Sanchez Ferguson with another steal. Pass it. And stolen right back. And a foul. Frustration foul for DeMarco. Third team foul for the Lampkins. As we said, five in a quarter. It's going to be two shots, but we're at three, so we're still good. That's DeMarco's first foul of the evening. Madden McCollum checks in for Henry Peterson. And this guy says, clear it out. I got this. Well, Madden's got some good defensive skills. Goes behind his back. Pass to the wing. The three-point attempt is no good. He went over his back. So that kid's just athletic. Here come the Lampkins. King's going to take the drive. Double team. Kicks it out. Wide open. Marcus Burkett. No good. Rebound goes to Loveland. Foul. Oh, Marcus Burkett. Well, they're dangerously close. James, do you think Elmore down there is sleeping? It's hard to tell. I haven't seen him pick up his camera in a while. He looks pretty comfortable in the corner, though. Definitely cannot hear what we're saying right now. Yeah, he may not like that, but... Yeah, Lance is a good guy. He rolls with it. Oh, and a foul. That's going to be the fifth team foul of the quarter. And with 3-0-1 until halftime, Loveland's going to go line for two shots. They'll have two shots the rest of the way. Trey Olson's going to check in for the Lampkins. Trey Young, I mean. I'm sorry. Ryder Easton is at the line. First shot on the way is good. Easton's a five foot ten junior. Settles in for a second shot. It's on the way and good. Two points, Loveland. And here come the Lampkins the other way. King's getting triple teamed. And knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lampkins. If you were defending four cons, you'd probably triple team him as well. That kid's good. Yeah, you got to do something to slow him down. Loveland's done a pretty good job of not letting him get a whole lot of shots. But the ones he has taken, most of them go in. Let's see what he does here. Oh, bounced out. Almost got the roll, but didn't. Loveland goes the other way. They're going to bring it up. Looks at the drive, kicks it out. Olsen took a walk. Lampkin ball. And DeMarco's going to check back in. No, he didn't get there in time. So he'll have to wait for the next whistle. Hand off goes to Young. The back door cut. King was fouled. Didn't get the call. Here comes Loveland. It's going to be two on two. Wide open three-point shot is on the way in. No good. Rebound's going to go to Marcel. Here come the Lampkins. They can push. Here comes Young. Called a jump ball? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know about that. 
Looked like Trey had possession of that. Maybe got swatted on the arm, but I don't know about that one. Highly questionable. Either way, here come the Red Wolves. There's going to be a trap up top. He gets out of it. Free throw shot. It's on the way. No good. Rebound. Loveland. He's fouled. No basket. It's going to be on the floor. He'll still take two shots because even if it was on the floor, we're there in the double bonus. So 142 until halftime. Kate, you got a hot date tonight? <laughs> no. Uh, flying solo tonight. All right. Free throw attempt is off. Kate Tarver joining us in the perch. Legendary Fortnite player right here. He's celebrating now. He heard you. He's celebrating now. Second free throw attempt is good. Pulls the Red Wolves to within 12. Lampkins are going to take a little bit of time and see if they can get Jason a wide open shot. He's going to take a 24-footer. He got hit on the arm. Not called. Young with the rebound, though. Burkett gets it stolen. Here, come Love, here comes Loveland on a two-on-two -two fast break. Gets it inside. It's going to be a charge. Way to take the charge. He took it right in the chest. Get that kid on the football team. We tried when he was younger. Marcus, we tried to get him come out. Good hustle by him getting his feet set, and also by Marcel getting back because he did tip that ball away had that not been called. Right, let's see if we can get two or three baskets here before the end of the second quarter. Marcel's going to take the 15-foot shot. It's up on the way and no good. Rebound, Loveland. And here they come. Passing the ball around. One minute left till halftime. One minute. Probin, trying to get past Young. He's having none of it. Takes the pull-up 10-footer, and he gets to the shooter's touch. Two points. Pulls Loveland to within 10. Here comes Marcus. Took a shot to the shoulder. He didn't get the call. They're letting him play a little bit. And Loveland comes the other way. 35 seconds till half. Loveland may hold for last shot. They may not. He walked. He got away with it. The scoreboard clock's right, so I don't need to tell you how much time. Oh, it's almost stolen by the Lampkins. Five seconds. Three. Shot at the buzzer is on the way in. No good. So at halftime. Your score from the Lamp Shack, Fort Collins Lampkins 36, Loveland Redwoods, Red Wolves 26. We're going to take a break and we'll be back on the Lampkins Sports Network.
We're at halftime as the Lampkin Sports Network's broadcast of Fort Collins versus Loveland. Four minutes until the halftime is over. We will get going here in a little bit. So we'll hang tight. No, no halftime activities right now. Okay, what grade are you in? Fifth grade. Fifth grade? What what school? Best Elementary. So when you came here tonight, were you expecting cheerleaders? Kinda. It's a basketball game. Yeah, they aren't here. What's going on? We had no halftime activities. Do you want to go out there and break dance or anything? I can't break dance, but one of my friends can. Well. Get his name. We're signing him up for the next game. Who's your favorite player? DeMarco Sanchez Ferguson. Great kid, DeMarco. I hear you whip him in Fortnite, though. No, he's better than me. <laughs> we don't tell the truth on this sports network. I'm sorry. So do you aspire to be a holder in the football sense? I kind of want to be... A running back or a wide receiver. Yeah, that's good. You got a good dad to teach you the ropes. You know your brother is a great holder for the snaps on field goals, right? Definitely, he is a very good holder. You still make fun of him though, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do that. I grew up with six brothers. Nothing was off limits. As my parents, Patty and Jerry McGuire in Omaha, Nebraska, are probably listening to this right now. Got anybody you want to shout out to, James? Uh, I know my wife is watching, so hopefully she approves um, of our broadcast tonight. So we'll say hi to Sarah. Um, if Grandma Mary's watching, she may be watching. Checking in from, from Loveland, Colorado. Um, the, the Tarver family does not run as large as the McGuire family. The McGuires, I believe, make up about a third of the population of Nebraska, which isn't that much anyway, but it is a lot of McGuires. <laughs> I, did, I did try to get a score check on our girls' score tonight down at Loveland, but they have not updated the score on max preps. In, uh, in honor of my dad, who is a born and raised Syracuse Orange fan, unfortunately for Fort Collins in the first half, we kind of look like Syracuse shooting free throws. A lot, of, a lot of tough defensive plays. Loveland has played really well. Again, holding Jace King, who averages up to 32 a game, I believe. He's only at 12 right now. We'll see if he gets, gets heated up in the second half. But, again, give Loveland credit. They are definitely hanging around. What do you think King needs to do to get open? Well, I'm no, I'm no basketball expert, but just keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Now, they are face guarding him. They're double teaming him. They're, they're definitely – their plan is to take him away, which has gotten us some open looks, which has been good. He's just got to keep working and, and not get frustrated. Um, you know, looking at him right now, he, he looks ready to roll. I wouldn't be surprised to see him – Put up 20 to 25 this half. Porter Park weighs in with the score update. Four Collins is ahead right now, 41 to 2. Wow, that is a that's a score for you right there. So the juggernaut, Four Collins Lampkins, Lady Lampkins are rolling again tonight. The quick pass inside. The Jackson Folkstead is shot is missed, but he gets the foul. Porter Park plays football. What do you think of that kid? He's a good linebacker, isn't he? Yeah, Porter's an awesome kid. Really hard worker. Had a had a real uh, solid sophomore year. He's gonna be a good one. We're excited. Two more years with him. Yeah, we're looking forward to football again next fall, but. 
you know, the Lampkins were young this year. They're going to be rolling pretty soon here. Loveland breaks the press. They're coming across. They're going to work it around. Try to find inside the 23. He's not there. Shot on the way is good. Braden Pryor with the two-point shot. Here come the Lampkins. Jackson puts a fork in it. Then he doesn't. Then it's rolling around. Stolen by the Red Wolves. And here they come. The drive. The shot. No good. Going to be rebounded. Going to go to D'Souza. He's going to lay it in. Two points for Loveland. Here comes Marco. DeMarco real quick. Gets it to Jace. He got hammered. They're going to follow him every time he touches the ball. Yeah, just keep being aggressive. When he gets a chance, go to the hole. If he gets an open look, pull up and take it. He does look frustrated. So, again, I expect him to go crazy pretty quick here. Another foul against Jace King. They're going to use up all their fouls on this guy tonight. Now, there's a guy we want on the line, 80-plus percent. He'll get up there and knock it down. Madden works at the King. He's getting double teamed. He's going to pass inside to DeMarco. He needs to take that shot. He passes it up. It gets back to Burkett. He's hammered. And with 6.46 until the end of the third quarter, Loveland already has 14 fouls. This is going to benefit the Lambkins if they can start hitting some free throws. Burkett to the line. They'll get two shots. First one on the way is good. I know it's a style of the day, James, but I think the lamb kids could benefit from a team barber. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Free throw attempt is no good. Rebound's going to go to Loveland, and here they come the other way. It's a two-on-two. -two. Now they're going to pull out and just set up their offense and try to work something. Dribble drive, hand pass over to the wing. It's going to be a foul. Mad McCollum is going to pick up the ball. So Loveland's going to get his ball on the side. Dump it inside. And he brings it out. Gibhart gets it to Olsen. He tries to get in as soon as it's going to be a foul on Jackson. Folks, that. I think that's going to be his third foul. We'll see. Um, no, second foul. Okay, just just two fouls on him. So Loveland inbounds the ball, gets it up top, looking underneath, nothing there. They're going to work it. Has baseline, takes a shot, it's on the way and good. Two points, Loveland. And here come the Lampkins. Chase is going to pull back from 23 feet. That's going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to Jackson Folks. That he dumps it down to Madden. Shot on the way is good. Two points. He's got a nice looking stroke down there in the corner. Yeah, that was nice. You know, again, great offensive rebound. All the attention goes to Jace. Okay, nice pass by Jackson Folks. That over to, to Madden who knocked it down. Three point shot attempt by Loveland's good. They're starting to heat up. DeMarco's going to bring the ball up. He gets it over to the corner. Madden takes a shot. No good. Rebound goes to Loveland, and he's hounded. Stolen by DeMarco. Tries to get it to Jason. Does. King's going to get fouled again. He passes it. Burkett. Pump fake. Drives. He's got a layup. Blocked and out of bounds. How many fouls did they get on us there? I thought at least four. Well, I'm looking at when they double-team Jace where their hands go. And if they're pushing him down around the sides, it should get called. So we'll see. Marco's looking. To, gets it into Jackson. He, he took an extra step. Turnover for Collins. And it's getting tight. Six-point game now. 
And good defense by King. He's got him befuddled. They're going to have a jump ball there. He called timeout. They gave him a timeout before they called the jump ball. So with five minutes, exactly five minutes left in the third quarter, the Lampkins find themselves up 41-35. to 35. I'm not sure how they do it in football, James, but I know in basketball they say the first five minutes of the third quarter is going to be one of the most important aspects of the game or one of the most important parts of the game, and the Loveland Red Bulls are surging right now. Well, they've already cut a 10-point lead down to six. Um, again, they're, play they're playing their hearts out right now. They're playing real, real hard, real aggressive, and uh, it's paying off for them. Cut the lead you know, down to a two-possession game. Uh, you know, we got to get some baskets, and, and we'll see what happens here. All right, so we're going to be back in action here. Loveland's going to have the ball in the corner, or on the side out of bounds. Inbounds it, top of the key. Three-point shot's on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound Loveland. D'Souza, he takes a turnaround shot. Nothing but net. Strong move by a strong man. DeMarco's going to bring it up. Gets it to the corner. Folkstad gets the handle on it. There you go. Try to get a drive. Gets it over. McCollum for three is good. Lampkins needed that basket. Needed that one. Big shot for Madden. Great ball movement there. Now we got to get some stops on D. Here come the Red Wolves. King putting on some tight defense. This kid's trying to get around him and can't. Passes off Olsen. He walked, but he got away with it. Somebody went flying. It's going to be a foul on Loveland. Jackson Folk said it took a forearm shiver. That's the fifth team foul, but... It was a player control. D'Souza gets, picks up his third. So that's a big foul. It's going to be a two-point... Or We are going to shoot, yeah. So it's going to be, they're in the bonus. Lampkins are already in the bonus with 402, 407 left until the end of the third quarter. That's a big foul being number three on D'Souza. I mean, he is he is a monster. And uh, he can clear space. I mean, look at him standing next to Madden right there. That is a big, big kid. And a pretty skilled kid, too. Got some good coordination, some good offensive skills. Folks that can't knock down the first one. we got to hit our free throws. Folks that first one doesn't go. He's... He wants it back quick, though. He's ready. He fires and misses again. Sorry. Here comes Loveland. Surveying. Gets it to D'Souza. Folks, that's going to body him. The drive. He got it caught in his hip. It would have been a foul or a travel, but they're going to call the foul instead. Marcus Burkett picks up his second foul. Or no, that was against Madden. Third. Third foul on Madden. He's going to have to come out of the game. They don't get the sub in before the inbound. And Loveland kicks it to the corner. Baseline drive. Floaters on the way and good. Lampkins quickly the other way. Get to the king. He's going to take the drive. Two points for Chase King. If they're going to double him up top, they're going to pay for it. Right. And that's what he needs to do is split that double team, get to the hoop, go make something happen. 14 for Chase King. Lovin has the post up. Rebound's going to go to. Yeah, it's a foul. And we're going to go to the line. Marcus Burkett should get two free throws out of this. Checking in for the Lampkins is going to be number 25, Marcel Herrera. Maybe they just called it out of bounds. They didn't call foul? No, I got Marcus went up to get the rebound, got punched out from behind. Clearly Collins' ball. The Loveland faithful do not like it, though. And here come the Lampkins. King gets down in the corner. Back up top. He's going to try to get double team. He's going to take it through the hoop again. Gets hammered. And he's going to go to the line for two points. Two shots. 
as Coach Tarver pointed out earlier, if you're going to put somebody on the line and you're a Lampkin fan, you're going to want Jace King being that guy. Did he set a school record last year? I'm sure he did. Uh, he's setting a whole lot of school records. School record for threes in a game. He's got three straight 40-plus 40 uh, 40 point games going into this. Let's see if he can knock this with these down. There we go. I love the aggressiveness. I love him going to the hoop. He's a real, real strong kid and a great athlete. Just keep getting there, Jace. Keep putting him in. I want to say last year his school oh, he misses a second. His school record was 91 or 92 percent, so he was pretty much money every day. Loveland quickly the other way, three point shots on the way, no good. King with the rebound, he's going to bring it up. Aggressive again to the basket, he gets hit, no foul, it's going to be out of bounds. Stays right here with Four Collins. They're a little roughhousing in there. We have a timeout on the floor. Who's that guy over there? I don't know. Are those jorts? I'm not sure. Look like jorts to me. I'm wondering if you got kicked out. Oh, they're just telling them to move the basketballs. Marcel takes the three-point shot. No good. Rebound. Not there. Loveland with the going the other way. I thought they were telling that fan something. I think they just told them to move the racquetballs. Double team up top. Loveland splits it, gets out of it. They're going to have a wide open three from the wing. Number 15, Jackson Gebhardt drills it. And Loveland's within five. Here come the Lampkins. Marcel's working it around. Gives it to DeMarco. Chase has the ball. He's triple teamed. Chase has the ball again. Double team back to DeMarco. Corner three. Oh, he passes it up for the drive. Euro step. He got hammered. The long pass is caught by Olsen, but not taken to the hoop. Skip pass. Wide open three. No good. Rebound. He's over his back. Rebound to Loveland. And folks, that tears it down. And here we go. Case King coming the other way. He's going to go to the basket. He gets fouled again. And they finally called it. They're beating him up a little bit in there. Marcel got hit right across the forearm on that last drive. Okay, letting him play physical, I guess. Definitely a foul there. You got to call it. Just like holding in football, defensive holding when people are trying to guard, uh, you know, some of our guys running routes around there. You got to call it. Jace to the line. There we go. First free throw is good. Coach Dick takes a seat over there on the sidelines. I think it's the first time he sat down all day. He doesn't look, oh, he's back up. He's back up. Oh, yeah. He did not look happy. That's all he needs. He's like Elf. He doesn't need much time to recover. He's a beauty. Baseline drive. We got a foul. It's going to be called on either Jackson or Marcel. They're going to call it on Jackson. It's going to be his third foul, fourth team foul. So we'll see if the Lampkins can escape here without giving up the two-point bonus, but or the two-shot bonus. One more foul, and Love them will be in that bonus. They're going to drive, get it inside, turn around jumper. No good, rebound. King gets hammered again. They're determined just to harangue him. And he's going to go to the line for two shots. I think Jace can get 40 from the line right now. Yeah, just keep being aggressive, like we said. He's such a strong, strong rebounder, powerful, quick getting up down the field. They just grabbed the field. They just grabbed him, and here we go. Knock him down, buddy. There it is. I believe he's up to 18 points. I'm not real good at math. <laughs> the foul is on Mason Morris. That was his fourth team, or fourth foul. So D'Souza checks in, and he has three. See if we can get him another foul before the end of the quarter. Jace King's second free throw attempt is good. And here comes Henry Peterson for Folkstad. He's going to get a breather. 107 left till the end of the third quarter. Lampkins are up by nine.
Loveland gets into their offense. Passes it around. Gets it inside. The big man knocks over Marcel and easily lays it in. It looked like a foul, but that's just a big dude. He's a large human. I mean, again, he looks like a tight end. He's a good basketball player. Corner three. No good. Rebound. It's going to be over the back on Marcus, and Loveland's going to get two shots. They're going to go to the line. So let's see who. That was Marcus Burkett's second foul. D'Souza is going to go to the line for two shots. First shot on the way is good. Looking at the size of that kid, James, what do you think their household budget is for groceries? For him alone, I'd say expensive. But watch how smooth this is. Looks like a great athlete to me. That's a nice looking shot. Yeah, that kid's got a lot of skills. DeMarco brings it up. Some pressure. 25 seconds left. He gets it to the corner. Henry Peterson for three. No good. Rebound. Loveland. And they're going to break. Stolen by Henry Peterson. He's getting hammered. He's got fouled like four times. He better call timeout. And he does. Timeout on the floor. Ten seconds. Ten seconds till the end of the quarter. There's a timeout. I thought they may have called a technical, but they didn't. And it would be four Collins ball. I believe it's four Collins ball, isn't it? Yeah, I think we got a timeout. You know, they're, they're yelling travel. Henry's just trying to pivot and hold on to the football. Football, hold on to the basketball. Again, physical game. A little too clo close for comfort right now. Be nice if we were up by 10 or 15. I think I left the clock on. We're not at zero. Oh, 10 seconds left. You got. You're good. There's only 10 seconds. Four Collins is going to have to go the length of the court. Loveland's going to put on a full court trap, see if they can get some time off the clock. Here comes Marcus, bringing it up. Pass, travel. So turnover by the Lampkins with four seconds left. Loveland will see if they get a last shot. Fort Collins is going to pressure him full court to give him the go. Three-quarter court shot is going to be... Good. Nothing but net. That pulls the Loveland Red Bulls to within two points. He had four seconds, decided to shoot it at two from the logo. Nothing but net. A little too close for comfort here with us only up two going into the fourth. Got to have a big fourth quarter to finish these guys off. It's a barn burner at the Lamb Shack tonight. Let's see. We got the cop and Treg on the court. I don't know what they're discussing. There must be something wrong with the volleyball pillar holder or what. I don't know what they call it. That's why Treg makes the big money. Plus, he's got his glasses on tonight. He's kind of like Bruce Wayne. When he gets the glasses, you know something's up. Look at him. Look at him. What's he do? Oh, it took him a while to get up. There we go. I think he, I think he fixed it. I don't see, you don't see Kyle with glasses on very often, but when you do, he's all business. Starting in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Loveland Ball. Lampkins clinging to a two-point lead. And here come the Red Wolves inbounding the ball. They're going to work it around. Pass inside. Back out. The cutter. Stripped by King. And he's going to steal. He's going to go the other way. 
He's going to get double teamed up top. Somebody better help him out. He's been fouled about four times. How many times can they follow one guy? King should go to the line for... Oh, they reset. I'm sorry. That was the first team foul. They need five before they get the free throw, so... I don't know why they're complaining. From our view up here, you had two different guys grabbing at his forearms versus the ball. Marco to the hole. That's a foul. Oh, that's a big Big foul. one. Big one. Big foul. 23. That's going to be his fourth foul. D'Souza, the big man. Shoulder block. Second team foul. Fourth. Let's see if they bring him out of the game or they're going to let him ride. Their other big man has four fouls too, though. So to Marco Sanchez Ferguson to the line for two shots. First one on the way is good. D'Souza checks up. Braden Pryor checks in for him. He's six foot two. He's not. He's help. He's a little stocky, but he's not as big. DeMarco, second free throw is no good. Almost stolen by Marcel and out of bounds. It's going to go to Loveland. Loveland inbounds the ball. King's going to pick him up full court. And almost turns it over. But Loveland controls. They set up. Double team up top. Stolen. Here comes Marcel. Slam! Bam! Yeah! Marcel around. The dog goes wild. He punched it. The energy in the lamp check is just ratcheted up about 100 decibels. Great play on defense. Big slam for Marcel. I don't know about that call on this side either. I know Marcel had the ups. That was a good play. Let's see if the Lampkins can keep the momentum going. Love them works it around. Looking inside, not there. Sets back up. Whistle. There's going to be a foul on Jace, I think. On Henry. It is on Henry Peterson, his second. He was trying, Trey Olson was trying to back him down, and Henry put up a fight, and too much of a fight. So it's going to be Loveland ball out of bounds underneath. Lampkin second team foul. There's the inbound. Olson has the ball. He's looking underneath. Working it around. He takes a cut. Loses the handle. Here come the Lampkins. Marcel gets it down. Henry Peterson, two points. Lampkin. Great pass. And the Lampkins are up seven. We have another whistle. What are we going to call? It was on the floor. It was before the shot. I think they're going to call Jace for fighting in the... Yeah, they called Jace for... Hitting somebody on the arm or body them. It's his third foul, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Fouls piling up for both teams. We're up to three teams already with six plus to go here. The floater blocked. Recovered. Marcus, he gets absolutely hammered. And good sportsmanship by the Loveland kid. He hit him hard, and it looked like it was kind of intentional, but he put his hand out, and it's good sportsmanship. Just physical play. I don't think there was any intent there. Just trying to get after the ball. But great job by Marcus securing that thing, drawing the foul. Here we go. And we have a foul. Oh, timeout. Coach Deck calls timeout. So with 6.15 left till the end of the game. Fort Collins 56, Loveland 49. And we have a timeout on the floor. Lance Elmore made his way from the baseline up to the rafters. He's all over the place. 
does a great job. The photographer for the four Collins Lampkins gets action shots no matter what. So it was a full timeout, which equals one minute. What do you think the Lampkins have to do here, James? Just don't rush. Be patient. Get good shots. Keep moving the ball like they are. And if we can get Jace either open in space or with, with a lane to the basket, he's going to get fouled. Or he's going to knock down a three. Just don't take bad shots. Play smart. Effort up by both squads is awesome tonight. It's been fun. It's been a great game. And I'm thinking the Lampkins can use the aggressiveness of Loveland against them and get to the line. They just need to bury those free throws. Pass to the corner. Marcel turned down a three. Passes to Marco in the, on the wing. Back up top. He's going to take the three-point shot on the way in short. Rebound to Loveland. Here come the Red Wolves. Double team. No foul. Loose ball. Jump ball. Are they called a timeout? They gave him a timeout. No jump ball. Timeout. Loveland's going to retain possession after the timeout. This is a scrappy game. Yeah, that's what you'd expect. Looks like D'Souza's going to check back in here with his four fouls. But that definitely gives Loveland a size advantage. The Lampkins should go right at that big guy. If it, whether it's King going into the rim or if it's the, one of the Lampkins six foot three big guys, they need to go at him and get him out of here. Yeah, he's been a force on both sides. Offense and defense, rebounding, scoring the ball inside. Needed, yeah, there he is. All right, he is coming in here. Loveland ball. So Loveland's going to take the ball out of bounds underneath. Here comes the screen. And they're just going to lob it in and set it up. Get it to the big man. Work it around. Almost stripped by Marcel. And he throws it away. Four Collins ball. He was out of his water up there at the top. Yep. Got to get the, come and get the ball in the big man's hands. Get him under the basket. Four Collins takes the ball. DeMarco brings it up. He's looking. Gets it over to Jace. Give and go. Back to DeMarco. He's got Mark, Marcus Burkett. Wide open for the three. No good. Tip back to Burkett. He's going to drive it in. Takes the contact. No foul. Two points, Marcus Burkett. The Lampkins are up by nine. Almost stolen by... It is stolen. Or are they going to call it? He stepped on the out-of-bounds line. It's going to be right here with Loveland. We're 50 feet away, but that sure looked like Fort Collins' ball. Uh, we might be a little one-sided up here. Time. Loveland gets the ball. They're going to work through the wing. Olsen's going to take a drive. He got bumped. There's no foul called, and it's going to be rebound the King. Bounce pass. Over to Marcel. Passes up the three. Gets it to DeMarco. He goes in. He got hammered, but he didn't get called. D'Souza has the ball. DeMarco was haranguing him. Corner three on the way. No good. Rebound. Loveland. Another three-point attempt on the way is going to be no good. Marcel gets the rebound. And here comes DeMarco. They don't have numbers. Gets it to the corner. Burkett has a wide open three, though. Corner three, no good. Rebound, Loveland. Four Collins just needs to settle that down. They don't need to take that quick shot. No, take your time. Be patient. But at the same time, it was a good look. Got to knock it down. Big man gets it, dumps it, work it around. They have a wide open three-point shot, and it's going to be good. Loveland pulls it within six. And the Lampkins head the other way. They set up shop. Henry Peterson's going to drive, take it to the big man if he can. He doesn't. He, they're going to work it around. DeMarco's looking for Jace. Jace has a wide open three-point shot. No good. Rebound goes to Loveland, and they're going the other way in a hurry. It's a one-on-three, so he's going to have to wait for reinforcements. 
in and out of his hands, but they recover the ball. Olsen tries to go in and gets hit. He recovers, gets it to D'Souza for the 15-foot shot. No good. Rebound goes to DeMarco. And the Lampkins control. He gets he turns on the Jets at the free throw line. Gets it back to King. King's going to get double teamed. He hits it over to Marcel. Down to Penry Peterson. We have a timeout on the floor. Bruce Dick calls timeout with 3.15 left in the fourth quarter. Pretty good action, James. What do you think? Yeah, ball mo moving up and down, getting good looks on both sides. Things aren't going down. Uh, maybe a little bit of tired legs here as these guys are competing full-time on defense. Look, great energy from both teams. Kids have been playing their hearts out. This is fun. Let's just hope we can finish this thing off in the last three minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah, the one thing you sometimes worry about with the Lampkins is they only play about six guys. So their starters have been playing heavy minutes. They get a break once in a while, but... You know, this point in the season, they're in pretty good shape. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Coach Dick likes to get them up in the morning, you know, tuck the old uh, collared shirt into the, the sweatpants and get those guys running. Um, so, yeah, our guys are in good shape. And, again, it's it's competition all the way through. You knew you would get this from Loveland. Again, these are tough kids. These are good athletes, coached well, playing their hearts out. It's going to be a fun last three minutes. All right, so coming out of the timeout, each team has three team fouls, so that's not going to be an issue just yet, but the next couple team fouls is going to be a problem. So Four Collins is going to get the ball underneath. Let's see if they can set something up for King. They're trying. He's getting double teamed. Burkett gets the ball in among the trees. Layup, good. Nice shot, Marcus Burkett. Big two points. Cajones in there. What do you think? Big shot, big shot by Marcus. Toughness in there. And a good look from DeMarco off the inbound. The big man gets it. He's going to drive, and he's fouled. Marcel Herrera is going to pick up his third foul, I think. Fourth team foul for Four Collins. It's only Mar Marcel's second. And they didn't call it on the shot. They looked like a shooting foul, too. Stolen by DeMarco Sanchez-Ferguson. Great play on defense. Here come the Lampkins. Gets it back to DeMarco. He's got a wide open lane. Left-handed shot. Layup. Two points. DeMarco Sanchez-Ferguson. Puts the Lampkins up by 10 with 2.40 left in the contest. King playing tight defense. DeMarco came over with the double team. And Loveland sets up. Drives, stolen, they're going to call timeout, nothing, no foul, no call, timeout. Coach Dick was all about three quarters of the way down on the court, and he finally got his call. So timeout, with 2.26 left in the contest, we have four columns up by 10 points, 62-52. And at this point, Coach Dick just needs to settle the troops and tell them they were there in the driver's seat. Loveland's going to have to foul if they want to keep getting possessions and make those free throws. Yeah, you know, as soon as Jackson Folkstead hit the ground there, Coach Dick was, was sprinting up the court. The loafers were turning over pretty quick as he's moving there. Got the timeout call. Loveland wanted the jump ball, but he was calling timeout for about four seconds before that. Just take your time again. Get a good shot. Get a good look. Get something going to the basket. Go right out 23, see if we can get the big fella out of there. Yeah, Coach Dick's 70, 71 years old. He was moving pretty quick on that one. He's he's still spry. Four Collins inbound the ball. Gets it to Marcel. It's stolen by Loveland. Olsen's going to bring it in. He takes a bump from Marcel. He's going to get his third foul, and it's going to be the 15th foul on the Lampkins, and he's going to go. Olsen's going to go at the line for two shots. Worst case scenario there. You don't want to foul there, and you don't want to turn it over, and we did both. We're still comfortably up. Loveland's going to try to speed us up, and we just got to hold. First free throw attempt is no good. Where did you say this kid's going to college? I believe he's going up to Wyoming. Uh, again, not sure what side of the ball, whether it's receiver or DB, but he's a heck of a football player. 
Misses both free throws. Here come the Lampkins. DeMarco makes a move. Gets it to the corner of the King. Back up top to Marcel. He works it over to Burkett. Back to Herrera. Take your time. There you go. Work the clock. The clock is your friend. Turnover, though. And here comes Loveland. It's a two-on-two. -two. Waiting for reinforcements. They call it a body foul on DeMarco. Two points and the foul. And I do think that was the right call. DeMarco did try to slide, but I don't think he was set in time. Nice finish by number four here for Loveland. Evan McCann trying to finish the traditional three-point play. He doesn't. There's a foul there. Who are they going to call it on? It's going to be on Loveland. It'll be interesting to see if they call it on the big man. Uh, it's going to be on McCann. That's his third foul. Fourth team foul for Loveland. So their next foul is going to put the Lampkins in the double bonus. Inbound goes to DeMarco. He's been... He breaks the press. Now he's going to get trapped up there. He doesn't. Gets it to Burkett. Tries for the steal. There's Chase King. Wide open. Three-point shot. No good. Rebound the folks that. Lampkins should run clock. And King gets fouled. He's going to go to line for two shots. They're going to be in the double bonus with 141 left until the end of the game. The intensity of this game has pretty, been pretty much off the charts. What do you think? I love it. I mean, this is this is great basketball. Outside of, again, fundamentals knocking down the free throws, the, the pace and the aggressiveness. There you go. And the heart that these two teams are playing with is awesome. So King makes his first free throw. Second attempt is nothing but net. Ten-point game. Madden checks in for Marcel. Lampkins are going to go full court pressure. Gets it to half court, and they break it. He's going to have an open layup. Two points for McCann. Quickly into DeMarco. Here come the Lampkins. He got fouled. He's going to go line for two shots. That's going to be McCann's fourth foul, I believe. We have a technical foul. Somebody from Loveland got a technical. I think it's on the bench. They've been running their mouths quite a bit, that, that staff down there. Again, you want to play this aggressive, these things are going to happen, but McCann just wrapped him right up. That guy's got a really red face down there. The guy with the man bun, you see that? Look at that. The guy with the man bun down there. He's he's tomato red on the left one sideline. It's impressive man bun, too. <laughs> DeMarco to the line. He's first free throws off. And there's a second technical foul on the left one bench, and somebody's going to have to leave. Man bun may have just got kicked out. Spent more time uh, tying up his hair than he is going to take him to. Oh, let's see. Might have been on the head coach. Someone's got to go. Maybe it was on a kid. Who knows? They've been they've been whining quite a bit. Did that free? Okay, so that free throw counted. Now Jace is going to go to the line for the technical free throws now. I think he should get four shots. But we'll sort it out. Loveland coaches are silent now. Hopefully we don't have any more reoccurrence of that. Chase King's first free throw attempt for the technical foul is good. Second attempt is good. He gets four free throws. Two technicals on the Loveland bench. We'll get it. Gets his four free throws and the ball. Third free throw attempt. Royal rattles in and out. And the fourth free throw attempt is on the way in good. Three out of four free throws. Puts the Lampkins up by 12 with a buck and a half left in the game. 
And it will be Fort Collins ball. We'll see if Loveland calls off the dogs. If they're going to, no, it's going to be Loveland ball. No, it's Fort Collins ball. King gets the ball. Let's see what they're going to do. They're they're going to run a double team at him. Here it comes. He passes to the corner. Smartly pulls it back out. Gets fouled. That's going to be McCann's fifth foul. He's going to sit. He's out of the game. He played his heart out tonight. Again, you, those kind of technicals take away from, from the effort these Loveland kids have given. They've, they've played a great game, really held Jason check. I know he's probably up over 20 now because of the free throws. But give these guys some credit. Yeah, you can't fault the effort of the Red Wolves tonight. They have some heart. They played their heck, their hearts out. Madden's free throw is going to be no good. Fort Collins is shooting about 12% from the line tonight. We'll see about the next free throw attempt is good. Lampkins up by 13. Here come the Red Wolves. Corner drives the baseline. Took a shoulder, didn't get called. He drives, bump, rebound, foul. Jackson Folks, that's going to pick up his fourth foul, I believe. Minute eight left. The student sections are getting chippy with each other. They're starting to mouth off each other. We're going to have a big bad Kyle Dragoning is going to come out here and lay down some rules. He's still got the glasses on, so he's in uh, he's in mental mode. He's not in full Bruce Wayne Batman mode yet. So does Souza goes to the line. His first shot was off. Second free throw attempt is going to be good. And Marcel's going to bring it up. Gets over to DeMarco. He's going to try to drive. He's trapped. It's going to be a jump ball. It'll stay right here with the Lampkins. One minute exactly left in the game. Henry Peterson's going to check in for Trey Young, I believe. I don't know. No, DeMarco's going out. So for Collins ball. Trying to inbound it. Got it over to King, but it was tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with the possession of the Lampkins. They're going to have to move down a little bit, though, because it was tipped out of bounds on the other side of half court. Lampkins trying to get the ball in. They do. Trey Young gets it down to Marcel. Layup. Two points. That should do it. This game's all but over. 50 seconds left. The Lampkins are up 14 points. Stolen. There we go. Stolen by the Lampkins, and they're going to get it to Burkett. King's just going to dribble it out. He should, they should just run clock and keep the ball away from him and walk away with the victory. I don't think Loveland's going to pressure him too much. 14-point game with 25 seconds left. They're just, they're just going to let it play out. And the Lampkins are going to go come away victorious. There you have it. Then there's the final whistle. Your final score from the Lamb Shack. Fort Collins Lampkins. 71. Loveland Red Wolves, 57. What are your thoughts? Great effort by both teams, but... You know, a little scary there for a while. Loveland cut into our lead in the second half. Couldn't knock down those free throws. Would have been a different game with that. But, you know, the, our guys played great. They stuck together, competed every every minute of this game. It's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, glad we hung on. And, and to you, John, thank you for having me. You do a great job up here. We all appreciate what you do for, for all of our student athletes and for Fort Collins as a whole. Hope we can do it again soon, possibly Tuesday. Well, we're definitely going to have to get this on Tuesday because the Sabercats are coming across the way and we're going to give them a good beating. So, I do believe the Lampkins are on the court tomorrow. The varsity will take on Greeley West at 
Oh, Northland? Oh, I think, yeah, Billy, the coach is the freshman. They're playing Grayley West. So Northland's coming to town. It'll be a noon tip-off, and we will be here. So from all of us at the Lampkin Sports Network, I appreciate James Tarver joining us. We will do it again. Could have been more fun. Great game. Hope you enjoyed the commentary as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So this has been a great evening of basketball. We are going to sign off. Thanks for tuning in to the Lampkin Sports Network, a broadcast in association with Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Have yourselves a great night. We'll see you next time.